the Average Directional Index, or ADX, and Directional Movement Index, or DMI, are technical indicators used to assess the strength and direction of a trend in financial markets. Developed by J. Wells Wilder Jr., these indicators are part of a broader category known as trend-following indicators and are particularly useful for traders looking to gauge the strength of a trend rather than its direction. The ADX DMI study consists of three lines. DMI Plus, or Positive Directional Movement Index, is the green line. This line measures the strength of upward price movement. It calculates the difference between the current high and the previous high, but only if the difference is positive. If not, it is set to zero. DMI negative, or the negative directional movement index, the red line. This line measures the strength of downward price movement. It calculates the difference between the previous low and the current low, but only if the difference is positive. If not, it is set to zero. ADX, or the Average Directional Index, the white line. This line represents the strength of the overall trend regardless of direction. It is calculated as a moving average of the difference between DMI plus and DMI minus. The ADX DMI study shows several key items. Trend strength. The ADX line in white indicates the strength of the trend. A rising ADX suggests that the trend is gaining strength, while a falling ADX indicates weakening trend strength. Directional movement. DMI plus in green and DMI minus in red lines provide insights into the direction of the trend. When DMI plus is above DMI minus, it suggests bullish momentum. Conversely, when DMI minus is above DMI plus, it indicates bearish momentum. Crossovers between DMI plus and DMI minus can signal potential changes in trend direction. For example, if DMI plus crosses above DMI minus, it may indicate a shift from bearish to bullish momentum. ADX helps confirm the presence and strength of a trend. A high ADX reading, typically above 25, suggests a strong trend, while a low ADX reading, below 20, indicates a weak or sideways market. Traders use ADX to filter out false signals from other technical indicators. For example, a buy signal from a moving average crossover may be more reliable if ADX confirms a strong uptrend. Some traders use ADX crossovers with DMI plus and DMI lines as entry and exit signals. For instance, a buy signal may occur when DMI plus crosses above DMI minus and ADX is rising, indicating strong bullish momentum. While ADX DMI is a powerful tool, it has limitations. Like many trend-following indicators, ADX DMI may lag behind actual price movements, leading to delayed signals. ADX may generate false signals or remain flat in range-bound markets where there is no clear trend. By analyzing the relationships between DMI plus and DMI minus, as well as the ADX line, traders may make more informed decisions regarding trend following, entry and exit points, and risk management. The average directional index and directional movement index are often used in conjunction with other technical indicators and technical tools to enhance their effectiveness and provide more robust trading signals. Looking at this chart, ADX shows a strong uptrend with DMI plus above DMI minus and ADX above 25, indicating robust bullish momentum. The 50 period simple moving average, or SMA, is trending upwards, and a bullish crossover of the 20 period EMA above the 50 period SMA occurs, confirming the uptrend suggested by ADX DMI. Trading volumes have been increasing as the stock price rises, suggesting strong participation and confirming the reliability of the bullish trend signaled by ADX DMI. RSI is above 50, but not yet in overbought territory, indicating room for further upside and supporting the continuation of the uptrend identified by ADX DMI.
By integrating these complementary indicators and methods, traders may strengthen their trading strategies, improve the accuracy of their signals, and effectively navigate various market conditions. It is essential to experiment with different combinations and adapt strategies based on individual trading styles and risk tolerance levels.